Just to point out uh, at the beginning of this video, this isn't a review, this is more uh, based on uh, unboxing and introduction, a review video of the uh, ASRock Z490 Steel Legend motherboard will be done in a couple of days later on when I receive the Intel Core CPU for 10th generation. So guys, check out the video till the end so you can see more and basically learn more about the motherboard. As already said, today we're going to talk about the ASRock Z490 Steel Legend and I do have to mention again that this isn't a review, this is just unboxing an overview of the motherboard which we have right here. So Intel Core 10th generation processors are coming out very shortly and we have here Z490 Steel Legend motherboard which as always looks really interesting. I know this is uh, right here a box only that you could check out right here until I actually unbox it but it's kind of interesting to already have a visual of the design and already have some presumptions of it how and how it will look. So let's start with the unboxing and some features that it already has. So you have the Nahimic Audio which is 3D sound technology which recreates the sound experience of 7.1 channel on a regular stereo listening system such as headphones or speakers. Additionally to that you have the Dragon 2.5 gigabit per second LAN port which goes up to 2.5 bandwidth compared to the standard gigabit Ethernet. Uh, you'll enjoy a faster connectivity without a doubt and experience for gaming of course if your provider gives such uh, possibilities for higher speeds. The new thing on Intel uh, chipset is definitely and without a doubt the PCI Express 4.0 clock generator which uh, is additional uh, external base clock generator that delivers PCI Express 4.0 new standards. You have the dual Ultra M.2 sockets to support PCI Gen 3 x 4 and SATA 3 M.2 SSD with 32 gigabits per second transfer speed. A massive full coverage heatsink to dissipate heat effectively and ensure SSD is working at its best. This way they remove thermal throttling from SSDs uh, and if you're thinking that doesn't happen, sometimes it really does. For the PCI uh, Express 4.0 they also did a steel slot so it supports the new generation PCI Express 4.0 standard which is capable of performing twice the speed compared to the previous third generation and it gives more uh, let's say stability when it comes to GPU sag. The Hyper M.2 Key M socket with PCI Express Gen 4 hardware for 4 times high speed SSDs. This we will get uh, more details definitely when the processor arrives. You have the dual USB 3.2 generation 2 10 gigabits per second, one is type C and the other one is type A. Polychrome RGB as always, you can't go without the RGB and you have the Dr. Moss. Now let's go with the unboxing and check out what we have inside the box content. First of all we are going to skip the motherboard and check out what we got inside the box. So you have here, let's start with these, we have uh, two M.2 screws and two M.2 locking nuts for your motherboard. You get some sort of an ASRock envelope which has loads of stuff, let's check it out. So you have two Velcro style with a ASRock logo on it, you have the DVD for drivers, you have the ASRock postcard if you decide to brag to your friends and you have loads of Steel Legend stickers which one of those are definitely dedicated for Steel Legend cable labels so you can know which cable is going where and where it is on your power supply and similar stuff like that. That's all which is contained in the envelope. You have the quick installation guide which comes with loads of different languages. You get software st setup guide which also comes, well basically this one comes only on English. Uh, you get, oh yeah, I forgot one standoff screw. You get three standoff screws. Okay, so three t uh, standoff screws for M.2 and three uh, screws to tie the M.2 SSD. And you get two uh, SATA 3 
cables that go up to 6 gigabits per second. That's all that is to it in the box except for the motherboard which we'll get to right now. One thing I do have to give credit to Astrock is uh, every single one so far that I encountered with motherboard that comes uh, from them is always attached to this foam material with uh, zip ties so they secure the motherboard properly. Now let's start with the motherboard. At the left top you have the 8 pin plus 4 pin connectivity power for your CPU. You have 24 pin connection right here at the far right side which also has, I think this still legend uh, lights up when you connect and turn on the motherboard. <clears throat> it definitely has a different design than the usual still legend motherboard since it has this uh, cutout and uh, separation from the whole part. You have six SATA ports, uh, four on the right side and at the right bottom side. <clears throat> so as mentioned supports 10th generation Intel Core processor and future generation Intel Core processors on socket uh, 1200. The chipset is Intel Z490. It has four DIMMs for uh, DDR4 uh, that go up to 4266 in overclocking mode. Expansion slots are uh, one PCI Express slot 4.0 times 16, one PCI slot 3.0 times 16, three slots are 3.0 times one, and you have the one M.2 key E for the Wi Fi connectivity. Multi GPU, you have AMD two way Crossfire X possibility and it supports Intel HD graphic built in visuals with processors which are GPU integrated. Uh, when it comes to graphic outputs, it has one display port and one HDMI. For storage, you have six SATA 3, two Ultra M.2, which I already mentioned are PCI Express Gen 3 times 4 and SATA 3, and you have one Hyper M.2, which is Gen 4 times 4 for future CPUs. Intel SATA supports uh, RAID 0, 1, 5, and 10, which gives you possibility for RAID fields and the possibility to make some storage if you wish to do that. Now unfortunately this uh, Steel Legend motherboard uh, comes with IO shield which is already prepared for the wireless connectivity but uh, this one doesn't have it. Uh, I wouldn't say anything bad about it but it would be really cool to have it uh, right here with Wi-Fi even though you can connect the M.2 card right beneath the PCI Express slot. Standard Steel Legend design which goes back to the grey and black color scheme with additional uh, graphics which are usually known on the Steel Legend motherboards. So you have a huge heatsink going right here which covers the M.2 uh, slot for better cooling and you have top, right, top M.2 as well which is right beneath the uh, CPU socket. Talking about the PWM connectors for your fans, you have up to 7 connectors which is just enough to basically connect uh, all the fans in your case, uh, maybe adding one splitter since you do need a CPU fan uh, connector as well. Uh, talking about the RGB, you have and this is really cool you have two addressable RGB so that's 3 pin 5 volts connectivity and you have two 4 pin 12 volts RGB connectivity. Two of them are at the top, so you, at the top you have one addressable RGB header and one RGB header. And at the far left bottom part you have the addressable RGB and the RGB header as well. At the bottom you have two USB 2.0, uh, which is always appreciated when you're going into something extreme and adding few controllers like RGB controllers, fan controllers or anything that you could control through your software that is in your Windows. So this is quite right and you don't need an USB 2.0 internal splitter just to add more controllers and adjusting the fan speed, adjusting the colors of your whole build or whatever if you're not running anything through motherboard that makes sense. But they squeezed it uh, inside so everything fits perfectly giving you the possibility of course of two additional USB 3.0 for your mod, uh, for your case connectivity you have the USB type C as well so this is really nice additionally to that uh, they have added the heat dissipation PCB technology which kind of gives the question have you ever been concerned about the temperature on your PCB 
Well, in this case, they developed and did this heat dissipation PCB, which gives you, uh, which gives the motherboard a more mysterious touch, and this design effectively takes the heat away from the PCB and lower down the temperatures up to 4.1 degrees. Now, this part in particular is near the processor chipset, and it kind of looks. It kind of looks different than usual that you expect uh, to see something on your motherboard. But if it really uh, does lower the f temperature of your PCB board and everything, then definitely something that is worth adding to the spec list. Uh, I do have to say that uh, checking out the IO shield and IO connectors, they could have added two more USB ports next to the LAN port or above the USB 3.2 which would definitely make seven uh, USB ports since five are just revolving around mouse, keyboard, headset and then you have maybe additional USB storage and that's it. As already stated on my Instagram profile in one post where I posted the box uh, of the Z490 Steel Legend I honestly do love all the designs of the Steel Legend motherboards even the lower models and Basically, I don't have anything against this one. They really did place loads of connectivity and compacted everything very tightly so they can add, I don't know, four RGB uh, connectivity. Uh, you have seven PWM connections for your fans. Uh, everything is nicely arranged and everything is placed as it should be so you could reorganize your cables and get easy uh, location. One thing I do really love about the PCI Express slot is a bit lower from the DIMMs, so the DIMMs don't get connectivity, well not connectivity, they don't look like they're touching the graphic card and definitely prefer the M.2 going above the graphic card. So imagine the accessibility of the M.2 slot right here at the top, which gives you basically clear access to the M.2 without removing the graphic card or removing uh, the AIO or custom uh, CPU cooling for, with some custom liquid cooling, for instance. Uh, you, do, you would have to remove if you have a CPU tower cooler, but then again, it's still easy accessible. Uh, guys, uh, that's all there is to it for today. Basically, I can't give you any practical results since this is just an overview and not a real review uh, as I said at the beginning of the video. So stay tuned. Don't forget to like the video if you really liked it and if you like the design of the uh, new uh, ASRock Z490 Steel Legend motherboard. Uh, the review video and all the benchmark testing and everything will come really shortly. Thank you for watching and see you in another one. Bye bye.